more games, Buffalo Butt. Just you and me. What? No elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. It isn't the kingpin. Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tukas. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare them. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. Who else is gonna fix things, huh? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy? I live in the real world, Spider-Man. Shaving marshmallow fluff. Calm down here immediately. You expect me to fight it myself? People don't expect a crime free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. But if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order. You're wrong. People want justice. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, they'll be okay. <laughs> what an amusing world you live in, boy! You're so bad, when you go camping, the bears hide their food. Am I right? You're so fat I could have you arrested for 10 pounds of crack. By which I mean... But... Mighty doesn't play favorites. Neither does the seismic blast. You're so bad, your high school yearbook photo was taken from a head. What do I pay you for? Get down here! What people want is men like me to make the hard choices. To make the wheels of the world turn so they can work their pathetic jobs and live their small lives and get a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone is in charge. Hey man, I get it. You were a bullied fat kid, and now you want to get even. You want to start a software company? Be my guest. When you start hurting people, when you turn into the bully yourself, I'm gonna shut you down. Nothing about my life. You had no 
no idea what I've done to survive. So talk to me. Let's hear it. You hired Craven, Cletus Cassidy. If you're so proud of it, tell me what you did. Think of it as a sticky, gooey, smelly sweater. Fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant, I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop... All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs> 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 <laughs>